as a mechanical engineer, Shivram Sandha is skilled in the design and construction of machines and systems, but he's passionate about building a launch pad for dreams. This led him to participating in the Mr. India SA pageant, and as the second runner-up for 2017, he's using this platform to give back to the community. Let's find out more about the how and the why. If your first encounter with Shiv Ramsander is when he's presenting a maths lecture, you would believe that he's an engineer or even a foreign exchange trader, as these are both occupations that attract young people with a flair for numbers. Okay, guys. So here we have how to find the equation of a parabola. It's only when he assumes his other far more dapper avatar that you would guess that he's also an influencer and a pageant finalist. And Michelle wanted to find out how the various pieces make up the complete picture. Gandhi G once said, a man is but a product of his thoughts. What he thinks, he becomes. Shivram Sander has taken this message to art and has created success in the arts, academia, and business. I'm spending the day with him to find out how he does it all. Shiv was braving the elements for his Instagram gallery while showing that sky blue can brighten the greyest of days. Shiv, I think you did a fantastic job. Oh, thanks, man. I think the credit goes to you, hey? It was lovely working Awesome. With you. Thank you so much. I'll see you for the next shoot. Hey, Shiv. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing, brother? Very well, and you? Nice to have you here. Thank you for coming. Which design are you wearing? This is basically a locally designed suit. I like to support local fashion, so here I am with the suit, locally designed. I'm loving it. Supporting local fashion. You came at the right time. I'm actually changing up to get ready for the next shoot, and we're going to do that one quickly, and then after that, we're going to take you through my day, basically. It wasn't only Shiv's dress sense that took him to the second spot in the most recent pageant because he also showed that he had the potential and the commitment to be a role model in the community. Of course, being stylish doesn't do any harm to a contestant's chances. Ah, Michelle. Looking great. Thank you so much. I decided to go with more Indian vibe with this shoot. Having participated in the Mr. India SA pageant, what do you think is the biggest lesson you learned about yourself? The Mr. India South Africa has been a catalyst in my life from upping my game to everything. It's got me more into style, it's upped my social media, you know, it's honestly made me a better person. Growing up, did you ever think you'd partake in pageants? What were you like as a kid? All this does feel a bit surreal. As a kid, I was just a normal boy into sports and that was my life, academic sports and that's it. I know you have a photographer standing by. Where do you plan on using these photos? This is for my Instagram, my Facebook and my new and upcoming blog. Well, let me not keep you up, I'll sit. No problem. As a contestant, Shiv picked up some modelling skills which he puts to good use. Ah, Michelle, hope you weren't getting bored, eh? No, I learned so much from you. Yeah, no, it was actually quite fun, but you know what? I would like to change from these clothes, so let's go upstairs. I'd like to show you something. Cool. All right. So, Michelle, welcome to my room, but this is what I'd like to show you. Are you ready? I think I am. Okay. Wow. Well, it is something. Looking around, I see the awesome sneakers and the beautiful coats, as well as all the accessories. What would you say that every man has to have in his closet? Can I say everything? You've achieved great success as an entrepreneur in forex trading. How did that come about? I take this back to a very important law called the law of attraction. I'm a big believer in it. And it actually started when I was abroad in the UK and I was standing in Canary Wharf which is one of the richest square miles in the world. From that trip, my thoughts opened. I started thinking bigger. I just wanted more success in life. You are passionate about empowering others. How do you achieve that? Charity is a big part of who I am. So I've given back to seven students around the country who are brilliant minds. They all had 90% aggregate and I gave them each a 10,000 anniversary to pursue a career in Forex and start earning from a young age. Shiv enjoys rolling up his sleeves to assist young and old in the community and he's equally comfortable as a handyman or a mentor. What do you do to unwind? Ah, that I have my next surprise to show you. Great, I look forward to it. Shiv asked Michelle to meet him downstairs where a collection of traditional drums intrigued him. Ah, sorry to keep you waiting, Michelle. I thought for my next surprise, I change into a more traditional outfit. You are really making me feel underdressed here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that, man, but you're no. still looking good. Music, such a great way of unwinding. I started playing the tabla from the age of five while I actually started playing on pots. And then from there, I got my first set of tabla and from there, I diversified into different instruments. Well, can you show me? Michelle, these are the instruments that I play. Firstly, we have the nagara. This instrument is very unique to South Africa. It's actually made from two pots and the cap's made from goat skin. 
And next we have the tabla. So this is a very well-known instrument. And the next one, we have a unique instrument. This is called the Bhangra doll. And not many people have this and not many people can play this. And last but not least, I have my favorite. This is the Dholak. So I'm going to give you all a small rendition on this. Chef, of all the instruments, why is the dolak your favorite? Well, honestly, out of all these instruments, I am the most skilled on the dolak. I know you have many plans. Where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years? One of my greatest aspirations in life is to be in a position both financially and publicly in order to make other youngsters' dreams come true. Thanks so much, it's been absolutely great. Thank you so much for being here, really appreciate you.